So today's topic is colloids. <clears throat> so for this, before discussing colloids, we have to know the classification of solution. Solution can be classified in three categories. Number two colloids and number three suspension. So today we will discuss about these colloids. So what are the what are the differentiation between these two these three solid, these, these three type of three types. Number one the true solution. The true The particles are very small. Solute. So we can write in this way. True solution means homogeneous mixture. Solute. Sus 
an example is if we add mud to water if we dissolve mud to water and we shake it initially the mixture is homogeneous and finally after some time if we place keep it in a, in a particular place and after some time we found that the mud is gradually dissolved sedimented and we can see the particles in naked eye so suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which particle size one or more components is greater than 10000 nanometer 1000 nanometer this is the example of suspension
example of colloid these are examples of colloid resistant from daily life now we will discuss the difference between true solution suspension and colloid solution the team table given below summarizes the major properties and points of distinction between each type of solution with respect to different properties so now we will discuss the difference between true solution the properties of true solution colloids and suspension we are actually discussing about the property differential properties so what are the properties will take size of the particle Yes. Yeah. 
So crystalloids can form crystal from solution but colloids can form crystal from the solution. This is the major difference. So this is the substance. Crystalloid is the substance that can be crystallized. These are the aqueous solution of salts like sodium chloride or minerals or heat. And the 
So these are the differences between crystalloid and colloid. Now we have to classify the colloids. Four. 
name is foam. Then when this first phase is gas and continuous liquid and continuous phase is gas, then the name of the colloid is aerosol. When the dispersed phase is liquid and continuous phase is liquid, liquid liquid colloid is called emulsion. When the dispersed phase is liquid and continuous phase is solid, the name of the colloid is chain. When the dispersed phase is solid and continuous phase is gas, solid gas colloid is called aerosol. When the dispersed phase is solid and continuous phase is liquid, the name of the colloid is sol. When the dispersed phase is solid and continuous phase is solid, the name of the colloid is solid sol. So these are different types of colloids. Precipitated easily. 
solvent heating. The particles resist solvation and dispersion in the solvents. So these colloids are less stable than lyophilic colloids. The concentration of particle is relatively, usually relatively low for lyophobic colloids. They are less visited means less gummy type. The colloids are easily precipitated or the addition of small amount of electrolytes or by heating or by shaking. That this colloid is very unstable. Less stable as the particles surrounded only with the layer of positive or negative charge. This is a picture of lyophobic colloid. Once precipitated, it is not easy to reconstitute the salt or colloid by simply mixing with the dispersion medium. Hence, these salts are called irreversible salts. Example of lyophobic salts. Lyophobic salts include salts of metals, means gold salt, gold in water, and they dissolve in solvent compounds like sulfides, arsenic sulfides, and oxides. These are the examples of lyophobic colloid. Now, if the dispersion medium is water, then the colloid is called hydrocolloid. When the dispersion medium is water, the colloidal system is referred to as hydrocolloid. The particles in the dispersed phase can take place in different phases depending on how much water is available. And for that reason, we can say instead of lyophilic, we can say hydrophilic and hydrophobic. We can say hydrophilic colloids and hydrophobic colloids. Oh, oh, oh. 
and hydrophilic eggs that removes the dye. So hydrophilic forming part actually attracts the, the oil part that is dye, and hydrophilic part actually attracts water. In this way, so removes dye by stabilizing the colloid in water. By excretes substance like sodium stearate. Sodium stearate means it is a sodium salt of fatty acid. It is a soap-like substance that forms an emulsion with fats in the small intestine. With our small intestine, and emulsifying agents help form an emulsion. In this way, fat is digested. Sodium stearate. Has a low hydrophobic tint. Is a fatty acid tint. Hydrocarbon tint is there, and that that it is the hydrophobic part. And the head is hydrophilic. So 
कोलोइडल
different medium. The visibility polar particles can be seen in a normal eye, naked eye, but it can be seen by ultra microscope. Filtrability polar particles can be filtered through ordinary filter paper, but it can't be filtered by semi permeable membrane. Stability lyophilic salts are more stable than lyophobic salt, but lyophobic salt are also these salts are stable in absence of any electrolyte, but large size colloidal particles are less stable. They are gradually sedimented. Color of the colloidal 